Welcome to the Level Up and Live podcast, where we explore the transformational power of just showing up. I'm your host, Sean Myers, joined by my co-host, Ewan Hanna Meyer. And in today's episode, we're diving deep into the reality of altering impact of this simple yet profound principle. You've never heard it like this before, so buckle up for some serious inspiration. But before we dive in, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you never miss an episode. Your feedback fuels our passion. So don't hesitate to share your thoughts. And if you love what we're doing and feel the impact that we're making, be a game changer and share with a friend. Let's spread the word together. So the intro is going to be a little bit different today. Uh, This has never happened before, but Level Up and Live officially is now sponsored by FitAids. For real. Yes, let's do this, man. We are so excited. We're smiling ear to ear right now if you're listening or watching on YouTube. Uh, we have been so little little tidbit. We said we didn't want to monetize the podcast necessarily, or at least not not right away for a long time, because we just enjoyed. We want to give back. We love this. We the reason we're doing this is these are the conversations we would have anyways at dinner, at lunch, at the gym. We would just talk, right? And so we didn't want to monetize. Uh, but if you go back three, four, five months ago, listen to any episode, you'll either hear a Ken getting cracked or us mention. We're, we've opened up the fit aids. Let's get the podcast started, or we'll be we'll be ranting, kind of like I'm doing right now. And it's the fit aid, the caffeine in the fit aid, which is pure, clean energy. Every every um, ingredient in these things is good for you, right? We've tried all the other healthy energy drinks, whatever. There's some other really good ones out there, but fit aids uh, is the choice. Like we actually got different. One I, I messed up one time and, and missed an order and we got a different one and Sean, the look on his face, it was so depressed. And I was so depressed. We drank these things. The, the episode was not as good. So ever since then, Fit Aid, uh, we, and uh, they are now uh, uh, sponsoring us and we're just very excited. So go get you some. It's amazing. Sean, what's your favorite flavor? And quick shout out to uh, Fit Aid headquarters. If, uh, you know, we're going to make sure we send them a link, let them know that we gave them a shout out. Uh, yeah. Appreciate Appreciate you guys uh, supporting the brand and supporting the community and, and supporting what we're all about. So my favorite is the mango sort the mango and the peach mandarin. So that's that's the one yeah, I typically drink. A good one. Dude, I'm drinking the blackberry pineapple. I never had it before. This is the first time I, this is one of the ones I uh, got from the the first shipment they send us. And uh it's delicious. You, like you it? tried this one? It's yeah, really good. I have it's yes, delicious. It is good. Yeah, I mean it's, it's got just, I've had them all. Like I've had all different types of energy drinks. I feel like this one. There's no crash. There's no. Sh- there's not a lot of sugars. Like yeah, no crash. Sugar. Uh, it's got all the vitamins in there. I mean, it's just BCAAs, like- turmeric, electrolytes, vitamin B, C, D3, and E, uh, quercetin, yep. COQ10, omega threes, glucosamine, all the good stuff for you. I just read that off the can. Yeah. <laughs> I was about to say, that's, that's like a scientist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like I know the formula breakdown. That they <laughs> Anyways, t- back to the show. Uh, today, we are talking about showing up. If we didn't show up to this podcast, you wouldn't be listening right now. So look at the impact of showing up and the importance of that. So we've just been seeing a lot of things here recently. Uh, me and Sean have b- discussed this and just the importance of being in the right place at the right time. And you could show up for years on end and it's not the right place, uh, but it might be the right time or it might be the, the the wrong time, but the right place. But you have to keep showing up to make sure that it is the right place at the right time. And uh, in doing so, it creates opportunity. That's the, if there's anything you get from this episode is that when you show up, things will happen in your life. Uh, if you've ever been in sales, if you've ever been in a relationship, uh, in business, in health, at the gym, if you don't show up, nothing can happen. So the minimal barrier to entry is just showing up. And the first point here, we're going to go over three points today that we really think this is the, the formula for that. But the first part is if you show up, you inevitably will get good. Right before the podcast, Sean, though, you mentioned this and I'd love for you to to um, separate. It's not just show. You have to show up. That's just the first step. But what's important uh, after that fact, as far as getting, um, you have to you have to get good, right? Yeah, I, you can't just get good by showing up. Yeah, exactly. And so that's that first takeaway. You know, it's 
we say it's easy. I say it's easy to just show up because I just think it's embedded in like what I've done in the last decade of my life. And if I reflect back, I'm like, okay, so I've moved the needle in these different areas of life. Why? What's been step one, right? It's because I've showed up. It's because I've plugged myself in when I didn't want to, right? In, in those different environments, even if I did want to. And typically the takeaway is when I did show up, then I would... I would dissect it because of the environment that I got into, like whether I met a, a new uh, key referral partner for a business or I, maybe I met a new friend or maybe like, for instance, a uh, quick story. I, I recently, uh, we, we started training for high rocks. And so one of the, one of, we started going back to silverback. And before that we were just running a bunch of miles in, in, in our community. Right. And so here recently we started go back to silverback in, in the gym and we were working out. And then, uh, one of the guys, you and as you know, came up to us and said, Hey, uh, what are you guys, what are you guys training for CrossFit or, or what is it? And we said, no, it's actually high rocks. And he goes, Oh, what's, what's high rocks. And so we were able to kind of share what it, what it was a little bit. We went back to our workout, but the funny thing is, uh, a couple of days later, I was at church and I was like looking up at, at, I was in the front seat at church, right? Showed up again at church and I was in the front seat and I saw this guy. I was like, man, that looks like the same guy at the, on the stage with a huge camera. And I was like, I asked, I looked at Kendra. I said, is that who I think it is? He goes, she goes, yep. That's the same guy in the gym. What? And so I, like, I didn't know that. What super cool, man! I was like, I didn't know he was in videography. Well, in one of my goals this year that I shared with you was I wanted a vid- I wanted a part time or a full time videographer. And so I had saw him when the when the sh- uh, when the when the when the service was over. I said, oh, I said, Austin, what's up, man? I said, it's Sean from the gym. And so we hit it off, and of course started talking. And 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 ever since then we had coffee, and and he's interested in in possibly doing videography with me. And it, but the point is. If I would have never have shown up to Silverback, if I would have never shown up to church, if I would have never have plugged myself in, which is the minimal effort that it takes, right, to show up in these different environments, I would have never met this guy, right, and and connected. And so I've just, I, I think that principle, that fundamental, applying it in any area of life is a game changer. Do you know what I think I just realized with the catalyst of what showing up is? You, you had just said, if you hadn't showed up at the gym, nothing, none of that would have happened, which is absolutely true. But so is it true for him also who showed up? Yes. Mm. Because what happens when you show up and someone else shows up? Well, now you're in a room with the kind of people who show up. And the kind of people who show up together over time, uh, opportunity is created, right? Because at some point, you're going to have someone who showed up who's looking for someone to do something with. They have an idea. They've got a. Um, they have something that's growing, and they want to do something more with it, or they're looking for that piece. Just like you, I mean, um, I'll just say this to, to you who listening. Sean is always looking for people's actions, and he gauges. Fascinating. Been watching this for a long time now. He watches. He, he said this so many times. He doesn't listen to what you say. He does not. It's so fascinating. He does not listen to what you say. I'm going to say it again. He does not listen to what you say. He watches what you do. He literally watches your, and he'll remember it too. Like he will keep it in his mind. And so he matches up at some point your words with your actions. And then, Mm. then, and only then are you, if it matches up correctly, are you trusted? And once you are trusted, only then are you a candidate for possibly doing something with Sean? Mm. I've just noticed this kind of realize, and I look at all his employees and think other things he's done. And then that's really true by showing up uh, at places uh, means other people are showing up at places. And yeah, so it just is, that's kind of the, the formula, the equation, something b- good is bound to happen, right? Like if, if people are showing up, uh, especially at the gym, um, and, and or business, you know, those are just like something good is going to happen. One of the beautiful things that I've realized and, 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 and one of the things I love about you, Ewan, is that I don't think I, the funny thing is like, I don't, cause you, there's a lot of beliefs. There's a lot of vision. There's a lot of like values that we have that we run congruent together and in, in, in building a level up and live. And so we've always been pretty aligned and on the same page with beliefs and in, in, in different areas of life. And I think that's why we've meshed so well together in, in unison and what we're building. Quick story, a few weeks ago, actually it was probably about four weeks ago, you you had told me, and when you tell me something, when you say you're gonna do something, I'm the type of guy, you better do it. And if you don't, yep. then I'm watching the actions, right? 
And I, and, and that's where I have to work on like compassion, kind, empathy, <laughs> because things happen, right? Emergencies happen, yeah. things happen. But however, like I, you, I would literally have to, something would have to happen to me. If I tell somebody I'm going to do something, you would, ha- there, there is no stopping me, right? It, the Lord would have to yeah. stop me. Right. And so yeah. back to the story, you had told me, Hey man, because you, you were coming over every Tuesday morning, eating breakfast, eating the food. You were super grateful. You're super gratitude. And we were drinking the fit aids and you know, all that stuff adds up, right. As far as expenses mm-hmm. this was before we got sponsored by, our- yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was paying for all of it and it was just disappearing faster and faster. And you had, and I'd made a comment and you said, Hey man, I'll pick up some fit aid. I said, okay, cool. And so the following Tuesday came around and I subconsciously, I was waiting. I was like waiting for him to come in with a bag of fit aid. And if you're listening to this, do you think he came in with a bag of fit aid? No, he did not. <laughs> and this is a line with showing up. However, mm-hmm. we are human beings. We are imperfect action takers. So the next thing that I, that I watch is what is he going to do? Right. I won't beat him up on this. I won't, I won't make him feel bad. Right. I just I just won't. OK, because we're human beings. However, because of my beliefs and my values, he better go get that fit aid and bring it back. Right. I, it deep down inside, because I know that's who I want to surround myself with is a guy that says he's going to hold true to his word and show up. Right. This is a line mm-hmm. with the same thing. Yes. That's who I want that because you we are only as good as our word. And this man, I kid you not, I said, Ewan, it's OK. You're imperfect action taker. And I didn't think he was going to come back. I thought he was just going to bring it the next Tuesday. I walk out around midday to take the dogs on a walk. And I, I see the fit aid sitting by in my garage. And I had the biggest smile on my face. And that <laughs> was like, that's my boy right there. So my point is, if you're listening to this, we're imperfect action takers. Sometimes we don't show up perfectly. But, but if you don't, then acknowledge it like you and did and then make it right. Because that's what people are watching. That's what the actions are. That's a whole another episode right there. I uh, I think I showed up, well, with a different brand. I, I had, well, so this is another episode. So I went to HEB and lo and behold, it wasn't open because we, we work out at like five o'clock in the morning and HEB is not open till six. And I'm like, I thought I could just run in and get it. And so the other episode would be preparation, plan ahead, which is one of my, you know, pitfalls if there was um, there's many but that's one of them and so i was like okay i'm gonna grab just these things to substitute because i said i'd bring something and i didn't and then it just honestly it ruined not didn't ruin it but i was just like this is not what i uh, if it's not it's not honorable and i'm all about honor right and so i didn't follow through on what i said i would do and have what i said i would have so yeah that it was just and let me make it know, I, I had to make it clear yeah and you did right and so you nailed it and so I think this kind of leads into our, our second point, right? Which showing up creates confidence. Yes. And so what I mean by that is like it, because if how I'm a big believer in, if how you do one thing is how you do everything. Mm. So if you look at yourself, like if you're the guy that says you're going to do something and you don't do it, where else is that showing up in your life? Yeah. Definitely, the email, 100%. the phone call, the finances, the budget, the vacations, the tr- you know, the hire, whatever it may be, that is showing up in some other area of life. So by you showing up, you in and in making it right, that same situation, that same scenario, is going to create confidence because you have it did. yeah, you're surrounding yourself and and you're you're living to a higher standard, right? So you're going to apply yeah. that same fundamental, same principle in other areas of life. Right. So it's going to create that confidence and that identity of someone that, okay, you know what? Hey, I'm imperfect. Things happen, but I'm going to make it right. And I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, whatever that person, because nine times out of 10, that other person like myself, hey, it's okay. No problem. But it's not okay. Right. Because you're not, because you, you, and you know, deep down inside your soul, it's not aligned with your beliefs, your values, and who you are. It's not aligned with what I said I would do. If you don't do what you said you would do, it is a ding against your own self identity you're always you're always checking in with your own identity whether if you if you fall through it's a it's a spiral up and if you didn't it's a spiral down if you do it long enough where you don't you don't follow through with what you said you would do you create this identity of someone that can't do 
So then you start to doubt yourself. And that's, that's a hell on earth to be in that place where you doubt yourself because then you don't have confidence. Because confidence is a must. It is a requirement because you have to have hope and belief to achieve things. And if you don't have confidence that you can achieve hope and belief, then you just stop hoping and believing. Mm. And that's a terrible life, right? And, and so, yeah, building that confidence. And it sounds so minuscule. But what you said was, you know, what you do in one place is what you do is what you do in other areas. So it sounds super minuscule to just say, well, it was just that one tiny little thing. But it doesn't matter what the thing is. It is just the fact that you said one thing and didn't do this, or uh, what did you do to recover yourself, right? Because that's people are human beings. Like you said, they always make mistakes. We will always make mistakes. It's not. This is not about being perfect. This is about making sure that you are in integrity with what you said you would do and and also putting steps in place to make sure that you can stay in integrity going forward and you will mess up again, but then you get back into integrity. Look at where was it that I messed up, right? For my cir- circumstances on HEB, I didn't think about the time frame for HEB being opened. And that was, it, it, look at the extra work that it created for me, the extra uh, stress, the extra um, Point. Uh, uh, hassle, yeah. you know, and I did that for myself. So going forward, I would, I'm like, it makes no sense to repeat that mistake. Yes. So next time I'll go get it on a Monday afternoon. Yeah. Right. Because then when I show up Tuesday early morning, I'll have it in the car with me. Right. So problem solved. Now I'm the person that planned ahead, executed, showed up and all that energy and brain power and decision making I have all that energy still left inside me to do things that I want to do, not to make up some mistake. And of course, we're talking about something very simple here, but it's the same in everything. You know, it's even more important when it's something serious. Business, relationships, health, you know, it really, it's all the same. Yeah, it, it makes me, um, it makes me think like two things. One, why do people show up and then stop showing up, Right. Just like January 1st hit, I'm going to go to the gym. I'm going to sign up. I'm going to get a membership. The intentions were all there. They showed up, but then they stopped showing up. But that's a whole nother episode, right? But I think it's like that. uh, Have you seen that meme on Google? Like if you type it in Google, you can type in like the the gold, the gold, the the guy that dug for gold, but didn't finish the line that didn't finish. And and you've lit this guy is digging for gold. Right, it's a little. It's a little bit pitcher, but it speaks a thousand yep, words. I've seen it. He's Love digging. It. He's digging for pitcher, and they see, and they both showed up, right? And so, the yes, one, the, the, that's right. The one guy, the one guy is is there. They both they both showed up, and the one guy's there chipping away. But then, thirty days hits, forty days hits, fifty days, sixty days, seventy days, whatever that time frame was. And guess what? He stopped showing up. The other guy. 60 days in, 70 days in, 80 days, 90 days, 120 days, a year, five years, 10 years. He keeps showing up, Ewan, and guess what he got? He got the gold. He got the gold. Eventually. And, and, and that, that is how it works. You keep showing up. You put in the reps, right? It's going to create that confidence. It's going to create that identity of the, the person that's showing up. Yeah, really. And I think that's... Yeah, yeah it's, it's, so, it's so powerful. I, I, I'll say... When I was learning piano, I bought an app on my phone at Christmas time. This was a number of years ago. And I played for months. I followed the app, the progress. And it started from like, ding, 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 one key. You know, the next day it was like two keys, ding, ding. And then before you know it, I was like rattling off songs because I uh, finished, uh, had played through the whole app. I was playing some complex stuff. But then the app finished and I didn't know what to do next. And I stopped. And I haven't played since because I just didn't, I was like, do I hire someone? Is there another app? Is there another course? And I didn't, I didn't follow through on that. And if I had, I'd be a pretty darn good piano player right now. And I just thought that was really uh, interesting. I think about that often and regularly about that. If I had had something else to, there could have been more gold at the end of it. I was really enjoying it. You know, and I stopped, yeah. and 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 I know in my own hearts of hearts that I will get back to playing piano. I haven't quite figured out what to do there, but I need to get a game plan. In fact, I need you to hold me accountable. Yeah, <laughs> all I need to do is tell Sean that I'm going to do it, and then I know it's done. Um, be careful what you wish. For I know. I was like, if I commit right now, I don't know if I have the bandwidth to be playing piano <laughs> and everything I'm doing. <laughs> but I'm going to schedule that yeah. out. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd throw that in there because that's I want to be vulnerable at this moment to to you know, it's that's human, yeah. human beings, you know. 
I love it. I'll share the story. We can go to our next, yeah, we can go yeah. to our, our next one, which is our, um, our, our key one. So hang with us. About 18 months ago at the insurance company, we hired, I, I met, uh, I was recruiting and I'm always recruiting. And, and so just looking for, you know, people that follow these traits, right. That show up. So if you're one of those that shows up and, and, and you're like, Hey, that's me. Then, Hey, I'm always, I'm, I'm always a DM or direct message away. We're, we're always looking for winners to join the team. But, um, so I was at Chewy's with Kendra about 18 months ago. And I saw this guy I was like, man, this guy, he just, he's, he's hustling, he's grinding. And he just, I had that, that, that frequency, that, that in spirit connection. Right. And, and I had been looking for another individual to add to the team, another insurance agent. And I really liked, you know, some of these things, these key components that this guy, you know, just friendly and, and asked us questions and just was quick on service. I said, it was the right time, the right place. I said, Hey, are you open to other opportunity? He goes, well, what you got? I said, and we started talking for a little bit. We exchanged, uh, we exchanged information, didn't hear from him for about one or two months. And then finally got a text message two months later and said, Hey man, is that opportunity still open? I said, absolutely. It is. Let's do a one-on-one. And we went through the, we went through the process and I kid you not, man, this guy had his back up against the wall. I mean, and I'll leave his name out of it just for personal reasons. But I mean, if, if you can imagine somebody that's going through thick and thin, that's going through challenges, the ups and downs and with a family, with, with jobs and mo- multiple jobs and, you know, in, in struggles and obstacles, this is the guy. This guy had every reason, could have had every reason to quit and throw in the towel, right? Digging the guy digging for the gold, right? Because he showed up at the agency. He was working two jobs. He was putting in 50, 60 hours a week at the insurance agency, right? Trying to get his sales going. And he was also working his Chewy's job on the weekend. Wow. So he's putting in 80, 90, 100 hours a week. Wow. But you know what? He kept showing up month after month after month. He wanted to quit four months in. Five months in, he wanted to quit. Six months in, he wanted to quit. But you know what he did, Ewan? That's right. He kept showing up. He started creating his his identity that he shows up when he doesn't feel like it. And let me tell you, six days out of the week, he'll agree with you. He didn't feel like showing up. But because he surrounded himself with role models and mentors and coaches and other like-minded individuals and people that wanted to help him succeed and support him, 18 months later, he is our number one insurance agent wow. now because he's continued to show up. He's making more money than he's ever made. And he's only a month. He's only he's a, he's very close to retiring from Chewy's and just full force oh, so into cool, man. being an insurance that's agent. So, so cool. the power of showing up creates confidence. It creates uh, it creates resilience, mental fortitude. And it's just such a beautiful power. Beautiful. So that leads me to the, the third one. Showing up lets others know you can be trusted. You think I trust him by now, 18 months in? He's proved it. Yep, he's proved it. 100%. Yes, he's proved it. You came over every Tuesday for the last six, seven, eight months. Same thing over and over and over again. You think I can trust you versus the other guy? Absolutely. I'll go to war for you. I'll go to battle for you. Whatever you need to do, you got. I got your back. You know, and so I think that's I think that's a key component is when you show up, you let others know you can be trusted. Man, if if we look at, at point two, which is building confidence in yourself, building confidence in yourself, build confidence uh, in other people about you, right? Which is number three, right? It leads ties right into mm-hmm. it. Like it's trust. When you have confidence in someone, it's another word for I trust that person. I'm confident in them, and when you have that, it, it elevates you as uh, a special person. Right, because how many people could you say that you have that kind of trust in that level of trust? How many people? It's not. Yeah. It's not a long yeah. list, right? Like, you, just no, either hand. work yeah. with you uh, uh, or work for you. <laughs> Those trusted people, yeah. You yeah. Know? And and honestly, so I, I will give people. I'll gauge them. I'll read them and give them just enough rope. And if I can't trust them, I'll still, I'll treat them that way. I'm very careful yeah. with how much I would share with them or what level of energy I'd put into that person. Still give them all the love in the world. But if I if I don't know, if I've seen them act a certain way or say certain things or think certain ways, then that will minimize what I'm willing to give and offer, right? So you think to that person, they're not going to get that opportunity with me anyway, with what might, if something pops up that's huge, it's big, it's something that, could totally change our yeah. lives. They're going to miss that, right? Because I'm not confident 
in them, right? And that would be true. You're not going to partner on a deal with them. You're not going to partner. Yes, that's right. No matter or, or tr- trust them with your yep. kid. They, and they might want it so bad. They might say things like they might say they want it, but then they're doing things that don't line up with that. Then that, they just wouldn't be someone that comes to mind. Like there's certain people because yep. we all do it. We kind of just uh, sieve through the the rolodex in our brain. Who would be a good fit? to do X with or B with, or who do I need a call to get an answer from? And you, your brain does it real yeah. fast. You're like, I know the person. This is the one. There's the guy. Yes. I got this guy. Yes. You know, and it's just fast, you know? And if you're not in that Rolodex, if you're not being that kind of person, if you're not showing up and then showing up uh, and getting good at what you do and building confidence and trust uh, in yourself and in others, you're not going to be that that person. And, and like you said yeah. earlier, with that image of them picking ax, the pickaxe, looking for the diamonds, looking for the gold. And it takes weeks, months, years, right? Each, did, was it the final swing of the pickaxe that got to the gold or was it the first? Well, it's none of them and it's all of them. Every yeah. single swing counts, right? Because it's leading towards the, right. the end. So it, 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 the hope there is for people, for myself, everyone, that if you're not that person right now and if you know you're you're not... You just have to keep swinging the axe, the the pickaxe, just once and again, right? So everyone can improve. Just keep swinging the axe to to keep going that direction. You at least have a goal. You have the hope, and keep pursuing that, and you become the person that will create opportunity for themselves. Yeah, and two things. So one thing is, do don't do it for the other person. Don't Correct. do it for Sean. Don't Correct. do it for you. Do it for yourself. Yes, right. Because that's what's going to create that confidence, that identity in the person in doing that. Because if you, it's just not sustain, sustainable if That's you're right. trying to do it for somebody else, right? And then the second thing is, is making sure that you hold yourself accountable. So like, I think that's an important note to kind of end on is, is if you find yourself like not showing up, dissect why, right? And so it's like, kind of like you did on the self-awareness with the fit aids, like, well, why didn't I do this? Because I didn't forward think backwards plan, right? HEB mm-hmm. was closed when you thought. And so a lot of people don't take the time to spend the, the right. extra 5, 10, 15 minutes to dissect that. Because if you don't, it's just going to show up again in another yeah. situation. Yes, and you're wondering, you're scratching your head going, why, why can't I keep, why can't I show up? Why, why does this person, and, and, and it, what it's going to do for you, if you show up, if you're the guy that can be trusted and you're a leader, and you're listening to this because if you're listening to this, right, it's because you, you you're more than likely an entrepreneur, a business person, somebody wanting to level up, right, and, yeah. per, and personally grow, and become a better version of themselves each and every day. And so, with that being said, I th- I think it's important to kind of look at yourself in the mirror and make sure that your 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 actions and your words are aligned. Because if they're not, then you in, and you look at your other areas of life and the needles not moving in your finances and in relationships, then that's a good starting place because that's the minimum is, 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 is showing up, right? Absolutely. Cause if you're not, then, uh, then I think that's your sign, you know? So. Yeah, totally agree, man. And, and yeah, to, to, to wrap it up, you know, be, you know, so you, you show up, you get good, you then build confidence in yourself and you can be a person that is trusted to others. And, and, you know, not the fourth point, but to elevate that, you're not just being trusted by others. You are then that trusted person looking for other people that you can trust, right? It's like the next, this is the next level so that you would yep. become that awesome. leader. You're becoming the leader yourself and, and people who are looking for trusted people. That, that's to me, that's what leaders do. And so once you're in that position, you're there, then there to pass it on to others. And um, yeah, man, I really enjoyed talking about this because it's, it's so attainable. Anyone listening to this, it can be you. You, if you're listening to this, you probably already are doing it. But man, we can all crank it up. We can all turn the notch up, show up even more, and show and watch how you show up and build even more confidence. Where do the limits stop? There, there isn't any. There's no limit that can. And if you're feeling like you're hitting the ceiling right now, great. You're hit that. You're at the plateau, and it's about time to level up because you have to do something to change to get to the next level. You have to crank it up, show up even more, look, ask, be more. And big things will come. The things you're looking for will happen. And it's just uh, a matter of your mindset and actions of showing up. On that note, level up and live. Drop the mic, baby. Let's go. Yeah. Boom. Level up and live. Level up and live. All right, bro. Thanks for tuning in to another empowering episode of the Level Up and Live podcast. Remember, subscribing keeps you in the loop. Sharing your feedback fuels our fire. And spreading the word helps us make a difference. Until next time, keep leveling up and living your best life.